Hey, it's Kyle here, and today I'll be kind of giving a little bit of an overview slash review of uh, William Shakespeare's Star Wars series by Ian Dosher. It just recently um, wrapped up with the uh, Merry Rise of Skywalker. If you're not familiar with the series, uh, basically the author Ian Dosher um, did a Shakespearean version of all the Star Wars movies, uh, episode one through nine. And so they're written completely like a... Uh, Shakespearean play, all the language like that. Um, he draws on a lot of Shakespearean um, influences. So a lot of the characters purposely um, echo characters in Shakespearean plays, um, uh, from the type of speeches that they get to like their how their character develops within the same plot of the movie. Um, it's very very clever. Well, I usually tell people like if you're really into Shakespeare. And you're not in Star Wars, you'll probably still enjoy this. If you're really into Star Wars and not into Shakespeare, you'll probably enjoy it as well. If you're into Shakespeare and Star Wars, this is your dream. <laughs> it is very awesome. And my sister is actually an English teacher. She specializes in British literature, and she loves these books. Uh, uh, she, uh, big part of her uh, school year every year, she has to teach several Shakespearean plays to her students. And since these books started to come out a lot of times, for some of the kids, maybe they have a hard time getting into some of the Shakespeare stuff. She recommends they check these books out as a, kind of a gateway into getting into Shakespeare via a subject they're already into in Star Wars. Uh, so I'm not going to really go into you know the plot because it's the same plot from the movies, episode one through nine. Um, but the things I just really touch on. Uh, by no means is it corny or disrespectful to Shakespeare. He's very much honoring Shakespeare to the fullest extent. So like I said, I think if you're into Shakespeare, you're not going to read this and you're like, oh, this is a corny uh, version. What's, what's the purpose of this? It, it's really well written. I'm always really impressed with how much work he puts into it. So it feels fully like you're reading a Shakespearean play. Uh, the Star Wars stuff, he does such a great job incorporating into the Shakespearean play. Um, one thing I always really enjoy, he, um, he's really good about putting in some little mini scenes of humor throughout it, kind of to help break up the storyline a little bit, kind of like you would have in Shakespearean plays, like the little uh, comedic speeches a lot of times that would lead into an intermission or they might use between the set changes and stuff like that. Um, it's just really cool. Um, it goes into so much detail, a lot of stuff. Like a good example is BB-8 in episodes 7, 8, and 9. So in that one, it's when BB-8 has a line, it's kind of like a jumbled mass of letters, but it's actually a code, and if you decipher the code, you actually will get what BB-8 is saying. Um, so it, he's super clever about the amount of work, thought, and detail he puts into these books. So again, if you're into Shakespeare, if you're into Star Wars, or if you're into both, I would strongly recommend you check out William Shakespeare's Star Wars series. Um, and like I said, just wrapped up. Um, unless he's changed his mind, the last I heard, he was only planning on doing episode one through nine. He wasn't going to do the standalone movies, so you can um, this the Shakespearean Star Wars set has kind of wrapped up, so you can kind of buy it as a complete set now if you want. Um, and obviously, the artwork and the covers are always really beautiful as well. So, highly recommend this series. Uh, strongly encourage you check it out. It's very cool Star Wars content. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, appreciate it if you like it. Um, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate the support. Um, I'll see you the next time. Happy reading, and may the force be with you.